Hello guys, Teresa Love here with Kingdom Initiatives and Power of the Truth. Just want to encourage you. God is just so good. He's so amazing. I wanted to share um, with you something that um, he poured into my heart. Um, a love without comparison. As I sit with you yet again, my heart's desire is to be positioned within your voice. Cling into a mustard seed of faith hoping and earnestly praying that it is enough to be seen worthy of your goodness. Your love perplexes me. I'm reminded that the deepest sin that I hold within is to compare myself to Jesus. You sacrificially loved. So how could I receive your very best? Yet I still hold to the possibility that I may ever love as you do forgive me for thinking such a thing your promise to abide in me and me and you shouts truth i was just thinking we're in genesis 3 1 where the enemy the devil approached eve and said did god say you know he always wants us to question our identity And I was just thinking, you know, we always think we're not good enough. We want to please God, you know. And God is just saying, abide in me because I abide in you. And when you do that, truth shouts. Wisdom shouts from the street. Pouring my very essence into you. Though the world makes it seem that we have so much that has to be accomplished in Christ, in the kingdom, we have to truly understand it all has been accomplished. However, we have to learn to position ourselves to receive in a manner of obedience that brings glory to Jesus. So when you start feeling, because the enemy is so crafty, but so when you start feeling that, you know, you have to do certain things for Jesus to love you and, and um, you know, be worthy in his eyes. Again, those are subtle lies. Jesus loves you just because. Just because he created you, he fashioned you. Not to mention dying for you. Defeating death and the grave. So you, you and I could have eternal life together, you know? So take a deep breath. Relax. Put your focus, lock your eyes with Jesus. And as you do that, you're becoming one with him. You're growing into maturity to truly, truly be Christ-like where you don't have to wonder. Amen. So, I hope this encouraged you to take each moment through the eyes of love. Just receive each moment from Jesus, no matter what it brings. Because he has you in the palm of his hand. And he truly, truly loves you. Again, Teresa Love with Kingdom Initiatives and Power of the Truth. I'm a, a life coach that um, life coaches, you know, prophetically. Um, as well as giving you practical tools to navigate through this world. I love fitness and wellness. Um just helping God's people so if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session I'm going to link some information below if you would like to um, sow into the ministry that will be a blessing to you and I bless you for that so until next time God bless you